What is a neutron star? To put it straightforward, a neutron star is somewhere between a white dwarf and a black hole. It has a mass such that there isn't enough of the star left to collapse under gravity, and too much mass to avoid nuclear fusion. This balance leaves behind a collection of neutrons, hence neutron star. Because neutrons have no charge, neutrons do not repel or attract others due to electromagnetic forces, but they do come under influence of the strong force. This means that all the neutrons in this mass stick to each other, creating a very dense material, only surpassed by a black hole. Because the density of a neutron star is overwhelmingly large, the gravitational effects on the surface are enough to bend light by a significant amount. The result is that one can see more than half the surface of the star, since light radiating away from us is pulled back around by the star itself. Stars rotate, like all celestial bodies, around some axis. We also know that momentum is conserved in events. When a star collapses into a neutron star, angular momentum must be retained, since there is nothing in space to lose the kinetic energy into. Hence, when the star shrinks in volume, its rotational velocity increases dramatically. For stars that were spinning fast in the first place, the resulting angular momentum is so great that the gravitational effects that result can bend the light into a sort of spiral. From our viewpoint on Earth, this generates a pulse effect. These stars, unimaginatively, are known as pulsars. The properties of large density objects can lead to interesting effects. Throw an object at a neutron star, and it will turn into neutrons, since it will be colliding with the surface in excess of a third of the speed of light. Put yourself in the middle of a neutron star, and you will turn into nothing. This is because in the middle, gravity is so strong that it can override the strong force. So the neutrons can't even bind together, and the whole mass is simply free energy. If you were to put yourself in orbit a kilometre above the surface of a neutron star, you could expect to travel around it twice in a second. 